Unfortunately, I can't disclose too much to you, Andy, today because uh, we haven't made any official announcement. Disney Online Originals is a very new group. Um, we launched in May um, with the very broad mission of creating original uh, series, characters, and franchises that we launch online. We target two major demographics. The first is kids, primarily 6 to 11. We're focused on both boys and girls, usually with different types of shows for each. And then on the... Um, uh, mom's side. We will also develop a slate of programming that hopefully will be taken out in the next few months. I'm a very big believer in being true to the media in which you are creating content for and in that regard um, we're talking about short-form content. However, one of the beauties of this uh, actual media is that format is something we are not beholden to. It does not have to be any specific length. So, you know, within the context of short-form, meaning likely under 10 minutes any given episode, even shorter most of the time, um, there's no hard and fast rules. If, the, if a story is best served with certain length episodes or a character is best developed with a certain length episode, we have a lot of flexibility in that regard. From the advertising perspective, my, our, our greatest commitment is, uh, and will continue to be, even as we diversify certain revenue streams, will continue to be to the first window ad supported model. I'm a very big believer, as are my uh, counterparts, that that is a model that will continue to drive revenue into this media, growing ultimately budgets and audiences at the same time. Um, so there's a real commitment to that. Uh, when it comes to further types of integrations with brands and branded entertainment, we are open. We do have some strategies around that. But I think that the real kind of more media-oriented first window ad supported is the is a. Uh, certainly from my own perspective, the strategy that we should be pursuing most. What is the balance now between you know, original innovators who can be successful versus innovators who really have to hook up first with a brand to be sponsored? What, what's the balance? Well, this is you know sort of taking off my Disney hat a little bit and putting on my entrepreneurial hat because Take 180 was an acquisition by the Walt Disney Company. Um, you know, I definitely encourage people to leverage the platforms out there that give them a direct connection with their audience as early as possible and to do it in a lean and mean way that does not require them to go out and get brands. I'm just a big believer in just do it. So from a grassroots perspective for creators who might be watching that are you know, looking to launch something, I would definitely lean against go get a brand to sponsor your content. I just think you're gonna end up one in a very competitive you're going to be competing with companies like Disney and others who are, who are doing that. And um, at the same time, it might affect the creative that you are so passionate about as a creator. Um, so I'm a big advocate more along the lines of listening to the likes of Freddie W., who we just you know, had on a panel, and others, and their strategies for growing audiences very organically through platforms like YouTube, and then be in a position to start talking to brands and monetizing that content.